So the project that I submitted for Amplify was all about creating equity for mental health in our students and the way that we serve them. We have a recovery room here at Brookside. And so how that's utilized now is in two different but polarizing ways. The room is a space that students can come and they can regulate if they need that extra time in that space in order to, you know, kind of get themselves together and be ready to go back into the classroom setting. What I would like to see is more of the preventative uh, mental health servicing or behavioral uh, health servicing, and that's what we really want to use the space for. Uh, so you'll also see students come down and take breaks. Some kids just get overwhelmed because they haven't been in the classroom, especially the younger ones, like they haven't experienced school and so they need a smaller setting to be able to do something or they're just overstimulated and need a break. For example, we had a kindergarten student who really struggled. She came in a couple weeks late into the school year, and so this was her first year being at a school. She didn't really do pre-K, and there's like about 30 students each because we do a co-teaching model here at Brookside. So she came into class, it was just overwhelming for her, and she just cried for her mom all day. And so we developed a plan for her so that she could start doing like breaks in the recovery room. And then she even was doing her recess in the recovery room because she didn't want to be out there with all the students quite yet. And so she did that for several weeks and then we kind of scaled back on it to where she was only spending some of her time in the recovery room or only taking a couple of breaks to where now she's done with that plan. She can be in the classroom, she's okay with that. And like I said, now she's not missing her instructional time. She's able to you know, be a part of the class community and not be so overwhelming for her. When kids come down for plans, there's different things that they do. So if it's a 10 minute break for a transition, then they come in, whether it's coloring or Play-Doh or sand or just coming and sitting and like doing breathing techniques with them because maybe recess was a lot and being able to transition back to class. Others come down just needing the quiet place. This is an opportunity to talk about, you know, what we're doing here at our school and where we want to go and changing practices in schools that don't perpetuate, you know, the school to prison pipeline has been like a passion for me. I feel like when I first started as a school counselor, I didn't really know a lot about strategies or things that we do in schools that are harmful. I just want people to get out there and just educate themselves more and be open to new ideas. There isn't enough mental health help for our kids, for our families. I love the families as much as I love the kids. That's one of my other favorite things is talking to the families and building something for us to collaborate all together. And so I feel like if we can be more successful in the recovery room, then our families are gonna be more successful too and feel safe at school.